Well, we've landed at West Cave Outdoor Discovery Center. Uh, we're going to go in and get registered for the Uplands Trail. We're going to talk to Paul Vickery. He's the director of education for this place. The preserve actually started back in 1974. Um, before that, it was privately owned, and a group of individuals individuals got together and they decided this land needed to be preserved for future generations to enjoy. A gentleman by the name of John Arns was hired as the land manager and he started to clean up the property. It had been trespassed on, trash left behind, people camp, basically created whatever they wanted to create out here. And In the process of cleaning up, he started to educate and giving people a richer knowledge of where they were. And from that, education, conservation, and started what West Cave is today. And so we've got two basic rules, please stay on the established trail at all times and no collecting. And right above your head right now if you happen to look up, we have a sunspot. The sun rises out of the east, which is our red doors, and sets in the west, which is our blue doors. And from that, the sun comes into the room, starts on the west wall, and not as the sun moves, but as the earth rotates, that sunspot moves across the floor and will cross over today's date on our solar calendar, which is laid out here on the floor. That's awesome. The odd shaped figure eight is called an analemma. That analemma is designed for our watch time. So at exactly 12, 32, and 34 seconds, every single day with our longitude and latitude, it'll be on that analemma, which again is that sort of figure eight or upside down bowl of pen. We want to help aid in the outreach. We want to get more people aware that this place is here, and we want to get more people coming out to help fund the operation, as well as enjoy the scenery and what this place has to offer. You can go to our website, www.westcave.org. Uh, you feel free to call us at 830-825-3442 or email info at westcave.org. The Uplands Trail is open to the public. You still have to check in when you get here, but it is not guided tours only. Here they've got a guide to tell you what kind of birds you might expect to see out here. Well, we hear the feathery friends, but we don't see many of them right now. They've made a barricade with old tree branches, built up that wall around there for the bird blind. That's what we call keeping it green. As we're starting to notice, that's breaking up, and there's blue splotches poking out. We can only hope that that's a symbol of a beautiful day to come. This old building is from the early 1900s. They do have plans in the future to restore this building. So, looking forward to seeing what they can do with that. Hi, I'm Tracy Ibarra. I am the Preserve Ranger at West Cave Outdoor Discovery Center. And this is the Uplands Trail. Um, my main role is patrolling it and doing land management out here. And every time I hike it, I love it a little bit more. We are going to have wildflowers. There's a ton of birds out here. And we have a ton of stuff planned that's just not here yet. In a few years, we'll have the River Trail. And you'll be able to get out and overlook the Pedernales River. If you go slow and take your time, I think there's a lot to enjoy here. In this particular area of the state, you've got a lot of beauty, a lot of hidden gems. They're preserving it so that it can stay that way. Your job is to help preserve. One way you can do that is to visit the park. Hi, we're the Wisniewski family. We're here from Magnolia and we're here on spring break. My name's Andrew Hunt. Uh, I just found this place. This place is really cool. It has a lot of really interesting uh, exhibits on the inside about groundwater and runoff. So uh, this place is really awesome. And I found my cousin Larry. He's down there hibernating in that cave. Just 
because it's a day trip doesn't mean you can't act like you're camping. We are still hiking after all. So my name is Amy Walquist and I am a troop leader and a member of our service team for Girl Scouts of Central Texas right here in Lake Travis so ISD. <laughs> oh no! Let's see that! Here, I will hold on to it for you and I will give it to your mom so she can give it to the truth fairy. You're going to get rich tonight. <laughs> they must have had some good candy earlier. <laughs> so, we have um, we have several troops with us today going on this hike through the West Cape Preserve. And let's see, they are 173, 1843, 3959, and 2119. Awesome. Oh my gosh. How many more you got to go? One. One? One more. Oh, it's on the verge right there. It's already cracking. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so the premise for this mission today is to put emphasis on these girls' quest for water. Miss Casey was coming up our staircase a little while ago, and she heard for the first time this year the golden cheap warble. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who like the golden what? I want you to look back at those two pictures right there on the wall. That's an enlarged picture, but that is an endangered species. It's called the golden cheek warbler. Only appropriate because look at what its cheek color is. That's nice golden color. And they live down in Central America and South Mexico and migrate up to Central Texas every year to find suitable habitat to build their nest. All right, so when it starts to rain, what, what do you notice is happening with these chemicals? It's all washing away. Is, is it staying in one spot? No, it's gonna um, kill the animals. It's gonna kill the animals? <laughs> yes. And look, that one just leading all the way down to here. You went all the way down to there? Isn't it supposed to? Oh, oh no. Give me some rumbles of the feet. That's what it is. There you go, there you go. Here's your slap. Here comes the rain. Well, that was really interesting. I have a better appreciation for water, that's for sure. We are now going to get ready and head out to West Cape Preserve and check out some really awesome scenery. Oh, look at these rocks, they're really cool. So if we get rain, where's that rain going to go? Um, into the, the limestone. Into the limestone. And if there's a creek up here and that creek is, gets flooded, where's all that water in the creek going to go? The limestone. The limestone is going to get soaked into this rock layer like a giant rock sponge. <laughs> Span, they have a rock very similar to this, and so they call that Pedanalis. So they named this real day Pedanalis, or what we refer to it today is Flint or Church. It was way up. It was after a really good rain around Thanksgiving. Yeah. He decided, he was like, I'm gonna head up this little trail here and he started up the trail and he heard someone snort and he looks up and he's probably about 20 feet away from a uh, very large mature buck oh, cool. and I mean that's in prime hunting season time and he just sort of looked at the buck and the buck kind of looked at him but had to take a few steps back and the buck just kind of took a few steps back and then both decided to reverse and go the opposite direction nice <laughs> now I also want you guys to take a look take a minute and look at the ground what are we seeing on the ground? Leaves, leaves. Tons of Sticks. leaves, right? Sticks. 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 All of these and leaves are decomposing and turning into compost. So we actually had an organized group come down and lay this stonework because previously it was sort of some stepping stones, but a lot of sort of wet, sort of mushy areas. So this created a better walkway space for us.
this is their space. We're simply an invited guest for the day. Is it hard to imagine that water did all of this? No, yes. <laughs> water has eroded away this entire canyon. Waterfall guys, when we go up there the staircase is going to be slippery, watch your feet, and when we get in there it's going to be nice and cozy so feel free to squish in and get a good view of the waterfall, okay? Really, really cool. Thank you very much for inviting us to come along with you. This, it's been great. Do y'all see this wall right here? This is made out of minerals, one drop at a time. We've got little soda straw formations continuing to grow from the top. The water is trying to find its fastest way out of the rock. And it's got a lot of actual drip points. Enjoy the sounds of the creek system as we walk. This has just been an awesome trip. I'm so glad we got invited because we learned an awful lot from them today. I'm trying to be quiet because they're trying to be quiet on the trail just to hear the birds. But I'm way back in the back, so. Hopefully I'm not disturbing them, but I just want to give you one last look at this little creek area that just looks kind of archaic and rugged, but it's so beautifully just crafted naturally. We have to keep places like this. We have to keep them, and we have to keep them in this condition. So you can do your part by simply signing up to get on one of these guided tours. Now we're learning about poop. <laughs> Young beetles. There he goes. And he's helping him push it. That's teamwork. Makes the dream work. That's Bala. Do you have a favorite moment? Yes. Just being able to learn all about nature and how the water and how water really helps trees grow and being able to have a lot of fun. Oh, that's what we like too. Good Very answer. Good. I had a wonderful time today learning and observing with the Girl Scouts at West Cave. It's a beautiful place and you really need to come out here. Give them a call and set up a guided tour. Tell them State Parker sent you. And we want to shout out an extra special thanks to Paul Vickery, the education director here at West Cave. He did a really good job of guiding us and these children 
into the cave and, and teaching valuable lessons, leave no trace, preservation, conservation. Hopefully they all come away from this like we did with that much more of an appreciation for natural resources. I'm Clint. I'm Melody. We are State Parkers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. And one more thing. Get out and go camping! <laughs>